anything of abuse. And so he went into the service and he did that. He moved us because of the base out to South Carolina, where there was absolutely no family, no friends, no anything that mm -hmm. gives you the full control. At that point, that's when he really went in. So from my memory, uh, I've seen my mom from everything from whipped, beat, slapped, chained to beds, raped. Uh, I myself was raped by my father, not penetration wise, but you can imagine everything else. Uh, I was hung out of three story windows, thrown from a room to a bathroom where I landed unconscious. Um, and it didn't take much for him to get going. Uh, something as simple as his food's not hot enough would warrant a beating from for my mother. Jeez. Um, and a lot of times I know she took beatings for me. Right. So if I did something that really made him angry, uh, he would beat her. But then after a while, that started coming over to me. And I do believe that that's the reason why I lost my mother in 2020. But because of the beatings that she had sustained, right, she had no teeth because she had pirate of the guns because of the beating. Um, and over time, those beatings does manifest on the body and they can come back. And I think that's why she passed as early as 68. Oh, my God. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. What a terrible story. And that leads me to my next question. How did you overcome that? I mean, how do you even process that? Um, not only as a child, but as an adult, looking back at what happened. My mom was my rock. So she did some things that, you know, I'll just put it out there. Black people will tell you we don't do therapy. And I think that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard because this is exactly what happened to me. My mom took me to therapy. I was a very angry young man, as you could imagine. Mm -hmm. from you know being beat you get this thing where especially when you get into school i'm a big guy i'm six four and a half now but i grew rapidly so you 